Hey, good morning, Augusta Nation. Hope everybody's Friday is off to a smooth start. We had a Monday on a Thursday yesterday, so hopefully that's ironed out and we got smooth sailing today. I haven't posted in a while, but had something on my on my heart this morning as I was uh, leaving the gym. I wanted to talk specifically directly to the Augusta Nation franchisees that are, you know, whether it be they've transitioned their brand or they just started the first year, a couple years in, whatever the case may be, just a little bit of perspective I was thinking about that kind of sparked this is in the in the theme of, of what the message that I'm trying to deliver here is, you know, when, you, when you're just starting, you could get caught up in the negative, you can get caught up in things getting in your way of not, not seeming like not getting to where you want to go so if you got this plan and with Augusta the plan the model is going from zero to a million dollars in five years so everybody has that uh, goal everybody's might be a little bit different some people might have a little bit of a uh, you know have, have an idea of going there faster going there slower but around about the same principle getting to a million dollars in revenue and getting that 20% profit margin so whether you're just starting and you get into the, you know, our peak, which is the time in which we get the most amount of business, but we also get the most amount of resistance uh, in the form of complaints, in the form of scheduling nightmares, uh, equipment disasters, employee entanglements, all kinds of not being able to find employees. But uh, it's super important to look at you know, that goal of getting to a million dollars and, and holding on to that as your why and not just the specifics of the money You've got to have something a little bit deeper than that but that end result whatever it means to you uh you know can be you can um you there's there's numbers to it and so they they do matter um but i just want to give you some give you some support give you some advice of somebody that whether you're just getting, like, if you're just starting and you're not there yet, you have that unknown factor of, am I doing the right things to get where I'm going? Or you could get so bogged down in fatigue and, you know, just meeting resistance and, and, and get those negative thoughts of, I'm never going to get there. Uh, for those of y'all that are in that, I want to say to you that you're part of a team that, you know, if you put it in the work, if you listen to Mike and Lee, and, and and go at it with a full faith effort you're not going to fail um they feel like that it's gonna feel like that you know that's that's kind of the the baggage of going for excellence of of trying to be the best is you're redlining you're using all your resources to get there and you're going to feel like you're going to fail uh, but you're not going to if you keep pushing forward lean on people that maybe have been there lean on Lee, Lonnie, Liz, uh, Mike's support. They're gonna get you through it and you will come out on the other side. And then, you know, as far as that is con concerned, getting to that goal, that, that five-year goal, you know, you're not gonna get there much faster unless you just have vast resources. And even if you do, the journey's not gonna be smooth. It's not gonna be easy. Um, you're gonna go through all the same stuff, you just might go through it faster. And the faster you go through it, the more resistance you're gonna meet. And when things break, they're really gonna break. So there's no getting, no shortcut to it. Everyone's gonna experience the, the, the feeling of failure. Um, and that's kind of what molds you and, and gets you to that point of being able to handle everything that's gonna come your way when you do get to that end goal of you know, let's say it's not the end goal, but a goal of getting to a million dollars in revenue. What 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 is uh, demanded of you as a leader at that point? And then there's another aspect that I, that I thought about today, and what kind of sparked it. I was leaving the gym, and this guy, uh, his name's Zach. He actually goes to my church. He approached me and introduced himself. We got to talking a little bit today. He's in medicine, so he's finishing up his residency, and he's got a what do they call it a fellowship anyways an orthopedic uh, you know and he's doing a specialty in um ankle and foot 
So we're getting to talking and yeah, that's what I do and I'll let him know. And uh, he's talking about medical school and um, how it's difficult for him, you know, because he's got three kids and a wife who was a nurse and now stays at home and they're operating on his residency salary of 60,000 a year. And we got to talking and he's like, you know, it's just super difficult to, to, he's like, I hear that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And for those of you that don't know, uh, orthopedic surgeons, you know, when they're making their money, it's, you know, quarter million to a million dollars a year. So it's, there's a, there's a great light at the end of his tunnel. Right now he's making $60,000 a year, struggling uh, financially, you know, we sees other people going on these nice vacations and people in his family, you know, that are, you know, did, did, on a different track in their life and you know it's it's hard when you're in it to look at that light at the end of the tunnel sometimes and you know when you're in the in the mud of things and you know whether it's financial pressure or a mixture of mental exhaustion and physical exhaustion uh, emotional exhaustion and financial you're at your end and you, you don't really look at like, hey man I, it took 10 years to get here or five years or whatever it is. It takes a long period of time to achieve a worthwhile goal. And when you're in it, man, it's, it's super hard sometimes when you're facing that pressure to realize like, Hey, I'm doing this so I can get here and you will get there. But this guy, uh, Zach, he was talking about that and, you know, being in, being in debt and, uh, but he, he's doing it to get to his goal and he will, you know, within the next couple of years, two years, probably, um, you know, come out and be like, okay, I'm making 10 times the amount of money. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I've realized my goal. I've put in the work for them. Four years of undergrad, four to six years of res, six years of residency. Two, yeah, that's a lot of schooling. So, and as we were leaving, he's like, he's like, yeah, we're talking about, you know, church. He's like, yeah, man, I recognized you. He's like, I, I noticed that guy in the gym and, um, He's like, I, I recognize you because he's like, man, you're an absolute unit. He's like, the weight you use in there, and and those that you don't know hadn't, hadn't checked out the channel. I'm weightlifting and bodybuilding has been a part of my life the last two and a half years. It's kind of flown by the wayside. My program hasn't been right. My eating hasn't been right. And then last September, so I'm eight months in to a restructuring program. It's nothing what it used to be, um, but I have a perspective of. I can, I've achieved something and now it's kind of eroded. It's, you know, it's cause, just because it's not, not a priority. Um, the weights I used to lift, um, even my physique, the way it used to look was I, I, I was at a peak. And now if I looked at, if I looked at that and I, and I was comparing my current self to my former self, it would be unfair and it wouldn't even be, it would hurt me emotionally. It, it would hurt my, um, my drive to go forward. So, in that light, don't try your best not to compare yourself to other people, or if you're in that unique position of having reached a certain level. So I know there's some franchisees that, you know, last year or this year they reached, uh, they tripled their monthly income or doubled it, getting to a red line, you know, spent their mental and physical exhaustion and are now having to restructure to go back down to a level. Um, it's hard, man it's super hard when you when you compare yourself either to others that are a place where you want to be or to your former self or to a place where you've been before and the only thing I can say about that is you get an opportunity to do it a second time you've already been there even though if you if you do your best not to focus on the negative which is man I've already been to this place and now I'm here um, if you if you can distract yourself away from that, and then focus on, well, I've still got a goal. I've got to get here, but I've kind of been in a similar situation. You can do it the second time better. And I've had a unique position that physically and in business, um, I killed my, my first landscaping company almost to the point of death. Um, had to restart it twice actually, um, because I, I almost killed it. I restarted it, was doing everything wrong, was growing it unprofitably, and then I found Augusta um, and had to restructure a whole lot of things, rebuild, and um, 
that's a unique prog process. But if you look at it as an opportunity to say, hey, I've already kind of done this twice, I'm gonna do it do it better. Um, you'll learn things, you'll, you'll be a better person because of it. But a little longer than I wanted to, haven't posted in a while. I hope that message helps a little bit. And if you specifically in the guest nation or you're just in landscaping and going through some stuff right now and want to want to reach out or comment, I'd be glad to help in any way that I can. But until the next post, not sure when it's going to be, uh, go out there, capture every ounce of this spring rush or, you know, this, this point in our season when we can actually capture growth uh, for that recurring effect. Go out there and get after it and just give your all whenever you get to a point of closing uh extreme exhaustion you gotta take a step back but hope you have a great day hope you have a great week and until next time get out there